Welcome to the Presley Kitchen. I'm here again with another easy recipe. I'm going to teach you how to make a no-bake pumpkin eclair cake recipe with a ganache chocolate frosting. Let's do it. You will need one large mixing bowl for mixing. To the bowl, add your four ounces of your box pudding in. Now add your two cups of milk, and then I need you to whisk that until thickened. That right there is the perfect thickness. Now add in your cup of pumpkin puree. Now add in a half cup of brown sugar. Now add in 3 fourths teaspoon of nutmeg. Now add in your two cups of whipped cream. Now take your rubber spatula and start folding that whipped cream in with your mixture and then just mix it until it's all mixed together. You're gonna need a nine by nine pan and what I need you to do is get all your square graham crackers and line it in the bottom and make sure there's no big cracks at all. Now scoop a good amount of your filling on top of that graham cracker and what I need you to do is start spreading that out and make sure it's a nice big thick layer. Now after that's all thinned out evenly, grab your graham crackers and repeat the process again. Make sure there's no big cracks and then grab your filling and make a nice thick layer and then just spread that out until even. Now top it off with the rest of your graham crackers and what I need you to do is just set that aside for now and let's move on to your next task. To a small metal bowl, I need you to add one cup and a half cup of chocolate chips. Now add one cup plus one tablespoon of heavy cream. Now bring your small metal bowl over to the small pot of simmering water and place it right on top because we're gonna melt your chocolate. Now take your rubber spatula and start mixing the cream and the chocolate together until it's super smooth. Now take that chocolate ganache and dump it over that whole entire cake and make sure every inch of that cake is completely covered. Now place your cake right into the refrigerator for about three hours but if you want it to cool faster, you can stick it in the freezer too. Now after three hours, pull that cake right out and start cutting that cake up into squares. Perfect cute little squares. Now use the tip of your knife and start pulling that cake out, place it on the plate and just show it off. Now if you make this cake recipe, send me photos to my Twitter or Facebook fan page and I'll give you a shout out. 